What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account and in our last video, our top comment was from OT saying he wants to get the Swiss K31 done on Forsaken with the Reflex Sight, so that's what we're we'll doing today. Also, if you want to suggest a weapon, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well, if I remember, uh, of all the weapons that we've already completed, so that way, when you leave your suggestion, we're not getting any repeats. And also, uh, I apologize for the lack of uploads. I've been feeling kind of sick recently. Uh, I'm still a little sick, but I think I'm getting over it, so I'm going to power through it today. All right, so here is our Swiss. We have a level 48. We level it up on stream. Uh, if you guys want to check out the streams, make sure you, you hit that notification bell to know when we go live. For our camos here, for our normal kills, we're at 1,300. For our critical kills, we, <laughs> we're at 708 so we need a lot more uh brush stroke we're only at 898 out of 2500 our vintage camos are done our fauna camos are basically done topo is done and infection we're getting there and really quick for our attachments of course we have to have the mill stop reflex per ot's request uh we're gonna have the stabilizer on i think that's probably the best thing we can use oh some of these increased drop rate uh, minus 40 shooting move speed and minus 25 percent aim down sight time it feels like a lot of cons opposed to 20 percent more idle sway control so i'm keeping that stabilizer for our barrel i think i have to go with the tiger team barrel and let's use the tiger team spotlight to go with it we'll use the bruiser grip we'll use our 10 round mag speed tape's fine with me and we're gonna go with the sas combat stock and for our field upgrade, I think Tesla Storm is probably good. Maybe we use Aether Shroud instead. Tesla Storm kind of feels like it's a stun, and I can use that to get more crits. But Aether Shroud, we can stack two of them. Oh, the, we, we might have to switch between the two, but I guess I'll keep Tesla Storm for now, because either way, it's going to be difficult. But let's hop on Forsaken and get this thing done. All right, here we go. Moving on into Forsaken, and today is going to be a long day. And that's because 2,500 individual crits with a sniper rifle takes so long. At least the Swiss is a little bit faster than the ZRG, so it shouldn't be too bad but we're playing on forsaken which there really isn't that many spots to grind camos at the spot i used last time was right here in front of death perception also this change but i don't think that's gonna work with a, a sniper because my rate of fire is gonna be so much slower than what i was using last time around here i don't even remember what it was it might have been an lmg or something all i know is it's gonna be a hell of a lot more difficult so i'm moving on as fast as i can i need to get right to dead shot that is my main priority and that's still my main gripe with this map i love everything else about it how it looks the whole design the feel the enemies the easter egg like there's not a bad thing about this map it even has every single perk machine in this like you don't even need a wonder fizz that's just there for convenience because every single perk machine in the game exists on this map but the thing i don't like is how there's not one suitable like grinding spot no spot that stands out above the others and is like compares to colonel's office or like med bay on d machine or even like power room on mauer it's like there's spots that can be used for grinding but they're not as good as spots we've seen before i'm still real mad that they got rid of that truck spot i'm gonna say that every time we're on here there's a blue tiger camo let's go let's just focus on these crits get some points and then we'll move on towards our teleporter we should have enough points to get through maybe not all the way to dead shot but we'll be good for now there's loose change. Open this up. Let's head through the teleporter. I'm opening this up. We're just going to be just short of getting dead shot, I think. Oh, no, we have just enough. Let's go. Powered all the way through it. All right, now we got dead shot. We can work on getting our crits effortlessly. Let's grab this and keep moving. Oh, there's our boundary camo. 750 crits. We have so many more to go. Oh, there's a token. Give me that. All right, let's head into the video store. Grab this loose change in this little part. Can't forget all of our loose change in here either. Get it from Nox and Derizendrac. Gotta come into here. Borrow this guy's flashlight. What about in here? Where is our... There it is. Our fry cage. Loose change from Elemental. And let's fix up our teleporter. Now we just have to wait till we have enough money to get through this door. All right, there you go. We got enough. Let's make it on through. I'm gonna get a few extra kills though. I'm gonna try to leave one zombie here so I can go fight the Forsaken or the Abomination. I always call it the Forsaken for some reason. But I'm out of ammo, so it looks like I'm gonna have to fight it anyways. Yep. Popped its skull. No, no charging. Bad. Bad Abomination. Bad boy. There you go. Goodbye, Abomination. Later. I think I'm going to chill out over here until I have enough to get Pack-A-Punch. And then we'll go through the portal, turret, lift the lockdown, all that good stuff. All right, we got more than enough money to go Pack-A-Punch, so let's go do it. First, let's lift the lockdown, grab the loose change from PHT, and we can grab Pack-A-Punch 1. Also, Cryo Freeze. This is what Pack-A-Punch 1 looks like on the Swiss here on Forsaken. Very nice. Love these Pack-A-Punch camos here. And it looks just as good on the Swiss. Swiss got some great coverage, honestly. 
Don't like all the tape on there for the bruiser grip, but I'm sure to look fine with uh, some different attachments. And I've actually been kind of excited to do the Swiss. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, how to get camos for the snipers. And today is a good opportunity to try to find some nice strategies. Because I've gotten the snipers done. Well, I guess this is my last sniper on this account. But I've gotten every sniper done on PC. And now I'm going to have them all done on controller. And since I did that, that Dark Aether guide, you guys were asking me for a sniper strategy guide. So I'm going to try to figure one out today. You know what? Maybe I'll try to switch to Toxic Growth. And maybe we can set up somewhere where I can have Toxic Growth protecting me. And I can just get headshots. But in these early rounds, don't really need a strategy just need to be around where zombies spawn and they're slow enough for you to be able to get all your shots on them without like much worry of going down okay so let's test out dead shot spot it is only round 10 so take this with a grain of shot a grain of salt geez oh there's our bloodshot camo i mixed those two together it's a bloodshot camo so far if this was any other round besides 10 i'd be dead i think so this spot's not gonna work we're gonna have to figure out something else Oop. did not mean to hit that nuke Maybe we try up here. This spot was actually pretty decent. We're using the MG82. So I'm going to throw some down right here. A little right here. Please go down. This is my biggest gripe with the toxic growth field upgrade. Oh, wait. I don't even have another one. Never mind. I was going to say, my biggest gripe with the toxic growth field upgrade is that it'll just tell you you can't place here instead of like showing you like a little outline of the toxic growth. Like they could just have one, like an outline of it being gray or red, depending on if you can put it down or not. I think that would just help a lot. So let's put another one down. Yep, it just says can't deploy here, so I'll put it right here. I don't know if I like the spot either. I really like spots where I'm more like level with them. Maybe after trying out this spot for a little bit, we'll go over by the video store and try out that spot. Because I know NH told us to use that one last time, and maybe it'll be better for a sniper. Because these toxic growths are already gone, or at least one of them is. And we're going to have to replace them like each round. And it's just going to get even more difficult as time goes on. Yeah, I'm leaving the spot. I'm out goodbye well let's just make our way over there but since we're here and we have enough i'm grabbing pack two after this i'm definitely saving up for my perks but it feels like snipers get weaker and weaker faster and faster and if you didn't know the spot i'm talking about i'm talking about right over here by the teleporter on top of the video store we can stand right here and the zombies will have to funnel towards you big problem though is you can't see all the zombies climbing up or going up here until they cross around this like hvac unit and you also can't see zombies coming out of that spawn. So what I was doing, or at least last time we were here, hold on, and you train around real quick, is standing right up here on these stairs by the bridge and not opening up that door. If I don't open up this door, no zombies can come up from behind me and I can just stay shooting zombies right here. But this is looking like it's going to be real difficult. I'm having a struggle at round 12. I really wish that bridge spot still worked. This bridge right over here where you just stand on the railing and the zombies would pile up because that's how we got our Pellington done and it was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. My camera wasn't even on that whole time. This is how you know I'm off my game. Has it been off since I got Pack-a-Punch the first time? Because that's bad. All right, we got two zombies left. I need some more perks. I'm going to go down if I just have dead shot. All right, let's get Jug and Quick Revive and we'll have to save up for the rest i can try to survive in here until we get enough you know what the reload on this is so fast we might be able to ring a fire with this you know call me crazy but maybe we should try it we should give it a shot for sure but before we do that i'm gonna build up my toxic growth because i'm already almost at three of them and i might as well place them down because they won't go away if i change my field upgrade so let's get speed cola that's the only thing we can afford at the moment and let's head back over to our grind spot and i'm gonna put a few of these down so i'm for sure gonna put one right here in front of the stairs another one right here in front of the stairs and then one at this spawn maybe or should i do right here i think right here is good okay now what we're gonna do is switch to ring of fire and we're gonna try to grind it out right here and once we have enough for some more perks, we'll head back and go get those. But also, here's Pack Punch 2 on the Swiss, since I forgot to show it earlier. Very nice. Good looking camo. And let me put the face cam back on, so I don't forget this time. Yeah, this is not bad right here. We just have to use two different kinds of field upgrades, and we're chilling. But if you are, you know, grinding camos with somebody, maybe have somebody grab Toxic Growth, the other person grab Ring of Fire, you guys can just chill in either this spot or probably on a, a map with a better grinding spot and get these things done a lot faster. All right, our Ring of Fire is ready. I'm going to try to train some zombies up and then see how it works. So I'll start down here, and then we'll make our way up. I'll pop the Ring of Fire, and we'll see how long we can survive, like, staying in it. Oh, great. The Abomination's here. I forgot you exist. Let's get rid of the abomination first. I don't want to be dealing with this guy. There we go. All right. And I think we got enough zombies behind us to go ahead and test out our ring of fire theory. Let's pop it. It looks like we're shooting fast enough, maybe. We're doing definitely enough damage. Our toxic growths are holding the zombies back. You know what? Ring of fire could work here. And we're level 50, so we can start getting our jackrabbit medals now. You know what? 
Maybe Ring of Fire does work. But I think Toxic Growth makes me feel safer. So maybe we'll see. We'll see if uh, Ring of Fire will still keep us alive once these uh, Toxic Growth bushes start to decay. All right, what else can we grab? Let's grab Stamina, Mule Kick, and Death Perception. What else do we need? Uh, I guess we can get PhD and we're done. Don't really need anything else. Uh, we'll probably grab Tombstone later. Maybe Elemental Pop if we start getting messed up. I guess for now, let's head back to our spot, see how long we can last. If we can't last there, I think we might just need to train and spawn. I think that might just be the fastest option. Okay, our spot's deteriorating fast. And also, I'm realizing that I feel like Ring of Fire does not help us very much because us reloading is not the problem with the sniper. It's just the time it takes in between shots and us bolting. And Ring of Fire won't help that at all. So maybe Toxic Growth's our best bet. I hate to keep like flip-flopping on my strategy, but I'm trying to figure out which the most efficient, you know? So I'm switching back to Toxic Growth. Where is it? There it is. And since our spot has already, you know, deteriorated down to nothing, uh, let's go ahead and go back to spawn. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. How am I alive? How am I alive? Holy shit. No idea how I survived that. Not a clue. This has to be the worst map to try to figure out how to use a slower weapon. Because right now, we could be on, on Firebase C in Colonel's office, posted up, toxic gross at the doors and windows, and sniping for our lives. But I feel like we're going to have to use Aether Shroud and just move around over here. And this abomination just stole all of our kills. Get the hell out of here. Does toxic gross stop you? Oh, it does a little bit. It slowed him way down and poisoned him. Fucking idiot. Stop shooting. It's not nice. Ooh, get collided, Abomination. Get the fuck out of here. You know what? Maybe I can use the spot by death perception. I'm so indecisive when it comes to grinding these camos. I mix up what I'm doing every single second. And we got this thing upgraded to purple. Let's see if we can grab a few more decoys because those are helping out a lot. Okay. Okay. All right, zombies. Relax. Chill the fuck out. Get the hell off me, zombies. Oh, that was the luckiest nuke I've ever seen in my life. Oh, let's go. Normally, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see nukes when I'm grinding camos right there. Yep, wanted to see it. That was the only thing I wanted to see. And we got enough. Why don't we just go get Pack-a-Punch 3? There we go. Here's Pack-a-Punch 3 on the Swiss. Very nice. Love these camos on this map, honestly. So good. Toxic Gross hitting people while we're not even there. The classic. Get yourself some passive income. And another Abomination. Perfect. Beautiful. Exactly what I want to see. Get me the hell out of here. I knew this was going to take a while, but this is taking even longer than I thought. I'm only at 594 crits. I'm pretty sure I need about, I don't know, 1,900. Some ridiculous number. And I'm so far off from it. Yep. Um, hey, guess what? Switching what I'm doing again. I'm going to go to Aether Shroud. If I don't die this game, like if I, if I don't game over, fully die out and have to restart... I'll consider it a W, because this has been a struggle so far. Abomination, get the fuck out of here. Oh, Mimic, you might have just saved my life. Thank you, Mimic. I'm getting so lucky this game, it's ridiculous. There's our Drench Camo, 1500 kills while it's Pack Punch. We need a thousand more. I am just decoy spamming right now. Get on the decoy. Get out of here. Stay away from me. What are you doing, dude? Why are you swinging at me? There's a decoy right down there. Oh, there's Threshold, 1500 crits. When we're at 1794, we'll be done. Holy shit. Still so many to go. And let's get this to gold. Fully upgraded Swiss now. Hopefully it makes it easier. I doubt it. Oh, contamination camo. There we go. Getting our jackrabbits up. Might have uh, might have just gone down. Don't worry about it. We're chilling. Got more than enough money to get all my perks back. All right. We got all of our perks back. Now let's go back to grinding some camos. Oh, there's our rotten camo. Finally done with all of our normal kills. Still so much to go though. And conviction. We're all done with jackrabbits. Oh, jeez. I'm down on the ground again surrounded by zombies okay so the strat that i'm doing is basically the same strat i do for like the zrg or the iron hide or any slow shooting weapon and that's training up and just throwing down decoys and then when there's too many elites if i have an aether shot i'll use it try to kill the elites and then go back to throwing down the decoy oh of course mimic you dickhead and then shooting the zombies as they're distracted by the decoy sorry that mimic distracted me well, let's aether shroud take them out now i can decoy them without a problem just so much easier doing it like this and then with mule kick it makes it so much easier because a lot of the time it'll just let you keep the decoys that you use so you can just do this for like ever no please oh of course i'm going down again what else is new no oh went down again now i have to use my self revive okay self reviving aether shrouding grabbing everything back and we're chilling no get off me go to the fucking wendy's dude Ooh. okay we might fully die here. I have no self-revive. I do have a quick revive, but on round 34 with a 1911, I don't think it's going to happen. 
That's Tombstone Shadow. Okay, I'm surprised it didn't put me on the other side of a teleporter. Let's get me up. Oh, there we go. All right, we got our self revive back. And I'm grabbing Elemental Pop this time around. It's looking like we're going to need it at the rate we're going down. There's not, that's five downs already this game. Oof. Oh, there's our chemical camo. We're all done with pack-a-punch kills. And we're about 200 crits off of getting done with this thing. And I can't wait. I've been running around this area of the map forever. All right, we got to be getting close to getting these crits done. We're already at 2,000 or 1,700. I think we're about like 50 away, maybe. Maybe more, maybe less. Tempest, you need to leave. Goodbye. And more decoys going out. This is it right here. It's got to be. Come on. Please. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Didn't get it. We're at 753. I'm pretty sure we need 790 something or maybe 59. I don't remember. All I know is that it was in the 700s. So we got to get it this round. Get stunned. Come on. This has got to be it right here. Please. Oh, the round ended and we didn't get it. We got to be so close. It's going to be early this next round. It's taken 39 rounds already to get to this point. Oh, there's a level up. Is that it? Did we get it? There's some more medals. There's Gold Viper. We're done. We're done with the Swiss. It literally took until round 39, but we did it. There's our banished Cambo. All right. I'm not staying till x -Fil. I don't got time for this. Zombies, take me out. I'm done. Uh, I'll see you guys when we're checking out the camos. But before that, here's our final stats. 2,367 eliminations. Hold on. Let me fix that. Okay, never mind. We, uh, we actually went over. So 2,370 eliminations, 1,801 crits. Zero revives, seven downs, one there was on purpose, the rest, all legit. All right, let's take a look at what the Swiss looks like with the Zombies Mastery camos. This is Gold Viper. This is very nice. I like how it puts it on the scope. A lot of camos, you see them forgetting about the scope. Here, they did not. Looking very good. Plague Diamond, even better. Diamonds everywhere. Very nice. And Dark Aether. This is probably one of the best looking Dark Aether guns in the game just because of that scope coverage. It is a huge pet peeve of mine when I see weapons that have camos that don't cover like essential parts of the weapon. Like with an LMG if it doesn't cover the mag or with a sniper if it doesn't cover the scope. But we don't got to worry about that here. This gun looks beautiful. Let's see what it looks like in game. All right, here's what the Swiss looks like in game with Dark Aether. This thing is beautiful. This has to be one of the best weapons with any camos on it. And this is exactly why you see the whole, whole camo. The camo stretches over the barrel of the gun, the stock of the gun, the body of the gun and onto the scope. It just looks great. It's very tasteful with the secondary color. I can't name a gun that looks much better than this. Off the top of my head, can't think of a single one. But there you have it. We finished off the Swiss. So all snipers are completed. If you guys want to leave a suggestion down below. Make sure you don't include a sniper because they're all finished. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like it and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.